What's going on everybody? Welcome back for episode 3 and part 2 of the F1 2020 series where we start in F2 and we work our way up to F1 and the Drivers and Constructors Championship. So part 2 here is the sprint race. So as you would have noticed, uh, I'm changing the style of the episodes a little bit just so there are a little bit more time and user friendly. So episode 1, part 1, like, like part 1 of every episode will be the feature race. Part two of every episode will be the sprint race. That might change until we get into get further into the series or into F1. But for now, we'll do like episode part one, part two, episode part one, part two kind of idea. But if you haven't seen the last video, check that out. Uh, we that was our feature race. We start off. We had a really good start, and then we just had a few mistakes and uh, rolled off the car pretty much. So let's try not to do that this race here see how we do here a little bit of a not too bad of a start not the greatest I want to make sure I avoid damaging my front wing because that's how I feel like if I damage my front wing it's pretty much game over Side line. Bro, you turn it on me, relax. Ooh, that dive bomb though by Delatraz. Not bad, 18 to 13 so far. See Galileo, Galileo, or whatever his name is, is uh, trying so hard well done, mate. Nice start. to get ahead of me. But not today, bro. We're shooting for podium today. Let's go hard. That was really, uh, no wonder. I didn't downshift enough, I didn't brake hard enough. We lost a bit of time there. Can I do a cutback? Get on the gas a little bit sooner. On the outside does not work. Yellow flag. Ooh, who's out? Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No overtaking through the yellow Matsushita. flag. Matsushita. VSC deployed. The virtual safety car has been deployed. We need to keep a positive delta here. Slow down. Maintain a positive delta. Virtual safety car. That power down on that grip.
thought about just cutting across. I wasn't sure if he's gonna stay there or not, so I was like, yeah, you know, it'll be nice. Just coast so that didn't really need to downshift. Gives that a little bit of a love tap there. We're trailing our teammate by 8.3 seconds. Had a bad line for that corner. Pressure Mazepin a little bit. Oh, I thought I would have got him, got a pull on him there. Ooh, that lockup. Hey, no, 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 bro. You locked up and you totally got a line on it. I just saw that. I was like, no, I'm, I'm diving right in. A little bit of wheel touching there, but that's not too bad. Not close. Wasn't I guess I wasn't close enough for Schumacher. Rev this engine out. Really missing the apex there. Driver in front. Hubert is ahead of you. Okay, gap ahead is 2.3 seconds. They're on fresh hearts. Their tires are four laps old. The time last lap was a 134.0. You're closing by four tenths per lap. Okay, except for except from there. We really pulled away. Wow, has it got a, oh I can probably still go faster than maybe. Bad line for there. Uh, a little bit too far away for DRS, damn it.
Uh, let's close that gap a little bit. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. The car behind has started to drop back. There's a gap beginning to form. I really know those dice. <laughs> Don't speak as much when I'm trying to focus and get these nice clean laps and Don't have that much pull on him. Okay, next up is Boccolacci. That's Italian. Moves done. Let like go a little bit there. I thought I was going to go under the grass. Okay, lap nine. We have four laps to get up to third place at least. Not the best move, but it had to be done. Driver in front. Giotto is ahead of you. Gap to car in front is 3.2 seconds. They're on old hearts. Their tires are eight laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 34.5. 1.2 seconds advantage per lap. So we are catching them, so that's good. Can we get a second? Come on. Come on, let's push, push, push.
Yeah, I'm usually quicker or faster than this, the AI around these corners here. And 2.7, okay. Point five to one four. Let's do that better line through there. Uh, just under two seconds. We should be within DRS range on laptop. Nice, dear us run this part. If we close the gap a bit more, we might be able to pass them on the uh, start straight. Bit too far back. But he doesn't have DRS, so that could be it. He will be too far back for first place. We will still push. has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. This is no, your final no DRS final for the guy behind us, which is good. Okay, yeah, so second place it is. I will gladly take that. This is one of our first really good races, actually. A few little uh, sketchy moves, but not too bad.
we're definitely getting so well. There's not enough laps. Second place, woo! Good job, you did really well. Super driving. Oh man, that's so good. Yes, driver of the day too. Oh man, this is so nice. What a way to end episode three, part two. So another fantastic victory for Charus today. No victory for us, but we play second. And Davide Belsecchi, that's awesome. Thoughts, how did they accomplish this result? This race, this week, Shoes has been moving up. Consistency. Anyone can be quick for just one lap, but there's a difference between that and being quick every lap. Over I think he started and first, and well, oh, he that. he got to first. When your opponents make mistakes, but then not make mistakes on your own, you can just push and push. He plays tenth though. Come on. Well yeah, yeah, yeah. Second place. The teams to join F2, but the Charus team have shown they're a force to be reckoned with, taking home the victory. Well done to everyone on the team. I will gladly take that. Oh. Nobody's won constructors yet, which is good. So yeah, that's way too early in the season for constructors championship. Right. That's how we should have every race. Work our way up, work hard, get After in there. This round of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's tape. The gap at the top of the championship lap. has been cut down after a difficult race for our championship leader. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? Today, I think I'll give it to the Trident driver. There was a lot of going on down the field. There's no question for me. They yes. were the best. And now a look at the team stats. We, we definitely Trident got that. To the top of the tape. Meanwhile, good work from Campos yeah. this weekend. Who push themselves further up the order. Try it, it number one. For this weekend. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you when Formula 2 returns. Awesome. So try it. We've gotten done really well. We moved up. Our teammate and myself, we both set place up really high. Uh, I dropped, I guess, to 8th place in driver settings. 32 points. Gap 48. Okay. Giuliani, Alessi has dropped as well, down to third. But overall, what a great race. Uh, that was perfect. <clears throat> Could have been a little bit better if we placed first, but you know, I started 18th and moved our way up. I started sixth, moved up, one up to fifth. Uh, yeah, Calum started first and ended first. That's all right. Well, I think that's it for. Episode 3, Part 2. Thanks, everybody, for checking this out. Uh, stay tuned for Episode 4. Uh, we'll do the feature race first again. Then we'll do the sprint race. And going forth, going forth. But thanks for checking the video out. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. So you're notified when these episodes come out. I'm just trying to get back on schedule. And you guys have an awesome day. Take it easy.